Hey everybody, it is Jer Johns. Uh, thank you for watching, for coming today to visiting my channel. I appreciate it. Um, I am here doing a recorded video. Usually I do live, but for the next couple of days, couple of nights, I am going to just do recorded videos because I'm almost certain I'm going to have plans in the evening and I don't want to have to do a video in the middle of the night and wake you guys up with notifications and all that nonsense. So, I am here doing a recorded video um, instead, and so we'll still keep on that, and then I'll be back soon, I promise soon, with live videos, because uh, I love those, and I know you guys love them too, maybe, hopefully, I'll drink my coffee. But this is going to be like a live video, because I'm not editing it, I'm not going to cut it out, because you know how I like to do videos, and that is not how I like to do videos, so, I am not going to cut any of it out you'll get to see everything i won't me making mistakes me whatever so yes i will shut up about it um i'm gonna set you here i'm actually today going to um i have some i don't know if that's not even a good viewpoint right i don't think so okay i'll hold you for right now <laughs> how is that um i'm gonna make beignets which is a thing a french donut um they're very popular in new orleans New Orleans. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a story and I'm going to talk to you about why I'm not going to be live for the next couple of days. Possibly not. Maybe, maybe, maybe it will work out that I end up going live. Who knows? And if so, then this will get pushed back and you'll be like, wait, we already know that because he did a live and he was already talking about it. But whatever. Hey, it happens. Um, so, yesterday, I, I'm actually I'm going to be making, cooking this and then Kind of going back and forth between that and telling your stories. Sorry to sound so absent-minded. I am kind of absent-minded, as many of you already know. <clears throat> if you haven't yet, go ahead and like the video just to get it out of the way. Because you're going to like it, so you might as well like it, give it the thumbs up stuff. And if you also haven't yet, make sure you subscribe because you already want to be a part of this craziness. I know. Um, so, what am I... Oh, I'm going to tell you the story. So... As you guys know, I talk about Tinder and the dating thing and um, the fun of that and how amazing it is. <sighs> anyway, I get on Tinder. I've talked about this before, but I get on Tinder and I will swipe left often and sometimes I swipe right. Whenever I swipe right, sometimes it automatically, as you know, pops up and says, you have a match or whatever it says. Anyway. Um, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to like write them because I just matched with them. It would be stupid for me to write them because they're going to think, oh God, he's really desperate. He's hopping right on the app to respond. What is going on with this? So I'm like, no, I'll, I'll hold off. I'm going to wait to message them. And so I'm like, I won't message them right now. And then I continue to do my swiping. Um, and um, then there are times that... Um, I will get a notification and it say, congratulations, blah, 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 you got a match, yada, yada. And I'll be like, okay, <clears throat> I need to remember to go back into that and respond um, and talk to this person. And I'll be like, I'm not going to do it right now because they're going to be like, wait, he was just like waiting around for somebody to match with him. What is this? So I won't respond to them either right away. And then it just ends up being a pile of matches that I never write because I forget. I'm forgetful. I have a busy life. I have everything going on, which maybe means I shouldn't be dating in the first place. Who knows? But I do. I date. I, well, maybe kind of date. I meet guys. We'll say that. Anyway, and I don't meet them often, so don't be like, oh my God, he's a slut. I don't meet guys often. Hell, I can't even remember to respond to most of them, so I'm not meeting them. Um, but occasionally I will meet a guy and we will hang out and spend time together and apparently never work out because I am still single here talking to you on YouTube about a dating experience. So there's that. Um, anyway, I'm going to start the oil. This thing says to heat, I think it says two inches of oil, one to two inches of oil. Heat in an inch, no, fry in an inch or two of oil at 370. 
I don't know what 370 is on the oven. I don't have a thermometer, and I'm like going to like figure out. Oh my god, let's do the exact. I'm I'm horrible. These things are gonna turn out to be shit. I'm sure, but oh well. It's worth a try. Um, I need to cook them off because they're gonna go bad. I actually had bought them for my ex, and because he loves them, he loves beignets apparently, supposedly, supposedly because we never made them, and they're about to go bad. So I need to cook them off, and so that's what I'm doing. And hopefully, something edible will come out of it. And that's how I do cooking. <laughs> um, so anyway, back to the story. The other night, I had a wild hair, and someone matched with me, and automatically, within like a probably a minute or so, I not only responded to them matching with me. Maybe I was feeling. I, I don't know. I don't know what I was feeling, but I not only responded almost the immediately after they matched with me, but I responded with their first name, which I never do because I think it feels so creepy to get that. I don't like getting messages on Tinder that say my name is is actually Jeremy, but um, that say Jeremy, how are you? Or hey Jeremy, how's it going? You don't know me. Like, let's do the introduction. I get that you see my name there. Let's do an introduction. But my stupid ass did it anyway on this one. I was like, excuse me. Hey, Trey. His name is Trey. Um, how's it going? Or, hey, Trey, what are you up to? Or, I don't remember what it said exactly. Actually, in moments like this, we search out the truth. Or something. Um, let me get on here. Aw, <laughs> he actually sent me a message on, <laughs> anyway, it, it, anyway, <laughs> oh my god, sorry, <laughs> it says, hey Trey, how's it going, and then he responded almost immediately, so I was like, yes, he doesn't follow my same rules, thank god, or at least he's not following my same rules right now, which is great, and he responded and said whatever he said, anyway, we talked, and he is here visiting from, and I've messed this up so many times because I'm like, Maine, Massachusetts, uh, Michigan. No, he is here. Oh my God, and I just lost it. It's not Maine. <laughs> He's visiting from Maryland. He's visiting from Maryland. Oh my God, I can't believe I just lost that. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get it right on the video, and I just fucked that up. Anyway, so he's visiting from Maryland. We talked, we told each other about each other, blah, 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 the normal, like, what are you up to? What are you up to? He's here on vacation with family. He didn't tell me he was here on vacation with family, though. He just said he was here on vacation for a week, um, and he asked what I was up to, and I was like, oh, I'm doing, I think I was doing something for YouTube at that point, so I was, like, working on the channel, and been working on the channel, trying to get it arranged, get playlists done correctly, make it look kind of nice and whatever, or at least organized in some way and not just be, like, uploads, so... I've been doing that. So anyways, I was doing that, and he was like, awesome. And then um, we agreed to meet for coffee the next day. I was like, we can do this. I can do this. We're going to do this. And so uh, we exchanged numbers and text some more. And then coffee became, um, how about instead you come over to the hotel and go swimming? Cool, I can do that too. I haven't been swimming in a long time. I love to swim. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. And um, so uh, then I was like, hey, or maybe he was like, hey. Either way, then it became, let's go get coffee and then go to the hotel. Awesome. So he had to go and arrange to get his rental car in the first part of the day. And then after that, we were going to meet up in the afternoon. Yay! And so we did. Um, we met up uh, at Starbucks. And it's always kind of scary because are they going to look like their fucking picture or not? And that scares me because sometimes they don't. And then I feel lied to and it ruins the whole thing. Like if, if I, I, it's not that I'm, I, I am shallow, somewhat shallow. Okay, I'm majorly shallow. Um, but if you lie, like even if it's just a, I don't know, maybe you're using pictures that are five years old or something and you don't look anything like that anymore. And I just feel lied to. And if you lie to me, no, 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 no friendship. I'm probably going to leave, 
we, I might say hi and be like, I got to go. I don't know, but it's not going to happen for us. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry, it's not. I sound really gay right now. I'm so sorry. Really gay. There is not like levels of gay. Well, there kind of is, but it's not good. It's not politically, it's not PC to say I feel so gay. So I won't, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry if that offended anybody. We're going to continue on though. Um, <clears throat> he, he arrived and he was like, so what are you going to get? And I was like, don't judge me. I know it's fucking 100 degrees out and people drink teas whenever it's 100 degrees out, but I need more coffee. So I'm going to, and I don't like iced coffee, so I'm not going to get it iced. I am going to get a hot caramel macchiato. Wait, guys, take notes. Caramel macchiato, seven pumps of vanilla, upside down, um, made with ristretto. <laughs> he was like, okay. <laughs> and so he got his tea. I got my, my, my caramel macchiato. And um, we went and sat down and we talked. And it was a great conversation. We really connected. We talked about dating life, which is like a big, I think a big maybe no-no for going on a date and talking about that. But who cares? Who cares? There's no fucking rule book. Just do you. Whatever works, works. And that's what we went with. He told me about his career. I told him about my life going to school, doing photography, working on trying to become a writer, doing YouTube. Like I talked about you guys, you guys. <laughs> And he actually already knew about you because I had already mentioned it. And actually, he went and saw a video where I was discussing um, shaving my body. And he didn't watch the whole damn thing, which it was very offensive. I'm kidding, it's not. But he, he watched enough to get kind of a good feel of who I was and that I was a real person. And I have a teddy bear named Duffy. And yeah, so um, then uh, he was like... So I'm going to go to Tampa, but I would love it if you would join me. And I was like, what? And he was like, so instead of going back to the hotel to go swimming, let's go to Tampa. Let's go swim on the beach. Tampa actually ended up becoming St. Petersburg later on, but whatever. Um, I was like, yeah, let's do it. I need to go back to my place to actually get a towel unless you have a towel. And then we can head out. So I, we came back to my place. And here's a fun part of the story. We parked at the front offices, and I was like, let's let's wait for somebody, because I didn't have my key or my code, or a code. The code doesn't connect to my phone. It connects to my roommate's phone. Anyway, no need for that part of the story. Sorry. <laughs> we, um, I was like, let's wait for somebody to drive through, and we can follow them through. He's like, no, I can't. I don't really want, I don't really want to go to your place. Like, I can't come up to your place. Like, I, safety first. I was like, what? <laughs> he's going to hate me for sharing that. But he's like, yeah, my mom would not appreciate me like just going to some random guy's place. And I was like, I'm about to go. <laughs> I'm about to go an hour, more than an hour with you away. You're some stranger and you can't come up to my place, which I wasn't going to have him up to my place anyway because I had like laundry on my bed. I was like, and like, no, I'm not going to have sex, like, within the first couple of minutes of meeting anyway. Like, that's not going to happen, so you have nothing to worry about. Oh, my God, the oil is overheating. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have turned that on yet. I'm going to turn it off. Well, I already did turn it off, you saw. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I was like, this is crazy. And so we <laughs> left, went and talked. We talked the whole way there. I asked him if I could touch his head because he had his, like, side shaved, and I love that. I love it, guys. I love it. And so I love the feel of it to be able to feel someone's hair like that. And plus, he's just really cute. And so I did that. And he, and I was like, is that okay? Well, I was like, is it okay if I touch you? And he was like, you can touch me all you want. And I was like, oh, my God, that's so adorable. Yeah, something. And so um, did that. We talked on the way there. Went to the beach. Had a fun day. He was... Wanting to just go to the beach and lay out on a towel, which I guess is cool. Have fun with that. But I, if I go to a beach, like an ocean, I want to get in the water and swim and stuff and, like, be in the water. It just feels good. So he was like, I'm not going to get in the water. I'm going to lay on a towel. You can lay there with me or you can get in the water. I don't care, but I'm not getting in the water. And I was like, no, you need to get in the water with me. And he's like, no, I'm not going to get in the water. You're not going to convince me. We got there, laid out the towels, and then I was like, okay, let's go get in the water. And he was like, I'm not going to do it. I can't. I was like, yes, come on. And so I finally convinced him. And he was like so happy that I did because we had so much fun just like playing in the water. It was so much fun. 
Um, then it started to get dark because it was already late in the afternoon anyway whenever we arrived. And we went and like laid on the towels for a little bit and talked some more, um, cuddled on the towels. And um, then I was like, do you want to go and have dinner? And so he was like, yes. And so we did. We went and had dinner. Like we went to Tampa and had dinner, which is like on the way back home here to Orlando. And dinner was magical. The whole day was just really magical with him. Um, but whenever we were, I believe when we were at the beach, I think it was at the beach. Forgive me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe we were at the beach. Whenever we were at the beach, he was like, my stupid goddamn phone was like popping up every two seconds. You have a match on, on Tinder. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I felt so like horrible. Like I'm like, mm. like it looks kind of bad, I guess, but maybe it looks really good because I'm getting matches. Like maybe people kind of like how I look or something. Anyway, so I was getting matches and they kept on popping up my phone every time I like rolling my eyes and he would see it. And I'd, and he'd like, wow, the guys really like you or whatever. Or your other guys, you better hurry up and arrange your next date, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 no. And he was like, okay. And so um, he was like, just don't arrange a date for whenever I'm here because I want to spend time with you. What? And he was, and I was like, okay, deal. I won't arrange any dates for the time, which I wouldn't arrange any dates anyway. I don't, I can't see that happening. But, um, so, uh, I was like, yeah, but you can't either. So if I can't, you can't, we have to like stick to that. And he was like, deal. And so, um, he was, and then he was like, we're boyfriends for a week. What? And like, this is like, so we talked more about it and we don't know how it would realistically work out if we decided to like date or continue anything after this, because he lives up in some other state that I can't ever remember even. And so it sucks. It really sucks because we connected. Like I am physically attracted to him. He's physically attracted to me. We're both emotionally attracted to one another. We connected. Um, it was cute. And so there, but there's no promise. There's never any really any promise of anything long term with anybody you meet though. So, I mean, that's not a, that's a given. Like that's, you don't have that promise. Like you don't. But long distance relationships suck and they're super hard. So we're just going to kind of go with the flow. But for this week, we are boyfriends for the week. And actually that's what he was like responding to. Like I just sent him, I had sent him a, like, a, I guess a cute message on Tinder last night before I went to bed. Cause I was like, Oh, how can I make this cute? I don't want to send him another text message. I'm going to send him a Tinder message. And so I was like, um, you're so beautiful. I'm so honored to have you as a boyfriend. And then the next one says dot, dot, dot for a week. And he said, ha ha. Well, you're welcome, hon. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, so he, but he is like trying to hold back. I'm kind of like trying to hold back because we know that there can't really be much. It's got, it would take a lot to work out. So we're spending time this week. I haven't even made any breakfast stuff and I've already made a long video so I'm probably not going to make any but I wanted to do a video and kind of like tell you that story I guess he's supposed to come over tonight if he doesn't flake on me he might flake he might be like oh my god no we're getting too close too fast I don't want it I'm not coming over but I think I'm going to have him over and make him dinner and we're supposed to cuddle and watch a movie anyway but I think I'm going to make him dinner and Oh my God, I was ending the video and for some reason it cut off. I don't know what caused it to cut off, but it did. Anyway, I'm going to have him over. I think I'm gonna make him dinner. I might even make him dessert, but he said he doesn't really like the sweet stuff. So I don't know, but I know what his favorite thing is now. And so I might try to, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, he might not even come over at all, like I said, so who knows. I just kind of wanted to share the story and we'll see how it goes. And yeah, so with that all being said, if you like the video, please like it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you got anything out of it, if you get anything out of my channel, please share it with others so that they can too. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Love you. Bye. Mwah.